Okay, so hi, this is Mrs. Chenoweth, and I'm going to show you a quick and easy tool um, that's pretty fun, and it's free, and it's called Sumo Paint. And once you go to sumopaint.com, it'll bring you to a screen that looks like this. Um, and the nice thing is you don't have to sign up for this. You can just try it online for free and not have to worry about anything. Um, all right, so today your activity is to get a photograph of the girl with the pearl and we're going to just go to file right here and I'm going to open from my computer um, she was posted in um, BCPS1 for you alright so here she is the girl with the pearl um, first thing I want to do is just kind of resize her because she doesn't really fit in the frame so down here where the zoom tool is I'm going to click on that I'm going to zoom out so here's the nice feature you can tell you know these are all your tools and wherever you hover uh, your mouse um, you'll see the name of the tool pop up so that's pretty handy all right so I need to make that a little smaller there we go um, and that looks great all right so the task for today is we're going to pull around with the art elements and you're selecting a design principle in order to change this image and make it look different. When you change art elements and design principles um, in, a, in um, an artwork, it changes the mood or the theme or the idea that the artist um, has tried to convey. All right, so over here on Sumo Paint, um, we have something called layers. And layers are really great because it allows you to edit things um, on separate layers so that you don't destroy a layer that's below it. Alright, so here's the layer palette and you can see she's on the background, she's on the bottom layer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add another layer on top and I might choose to um, color parts of it. Um, I might choose to... so let's do that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and... there's a pencil tool, there's a brush tool, there's an ink tool. Um, I think I'm going to try an ink tool. I've not tried that before. All right. Every time you use a different tool here, the toolbar up above gives you different options for the tool. So opacity means can you see through the color that you're going to use um, or is it going to be um, so dark that you can't see through it. Um, the size of your brush or your tool is here. Um, here I can pull this down. I can get uh, different types of uh, pen tips. Um, my mode is ink, um, wet edges, ink beveling, smoothing. So you've got lots of different options there. I'm going to go with this wet edge and I'm going to change the color. Down here is your color picker but also over here to the right of your screen um, is the color picker. So for now Oops, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with a nice, cool kind of blue color. I think it would be nice. Um, so instead of being in a dark room, maybe we'll make her look like she's um, outside. So you can see this kind of weird tip um, on this brush. Okay, I'm going to make the brush a little bigger. And I can cover an area a little quicker. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I've not used this tool before. It's a very strange tool. Alright, I'm going to use a brush. I think it'll make a little more sense to use a brush. So I'm going to pick a brush um, and I'm just going to get a nice texture for the brush. Alrighty. And then I'm going to come over here and do some brushing and that kind of adds sort of like a nice texture all right so anyway that's one way that you can sort of change the way that this looks all right um, here's another fun thing that you could use are these filters um, if you want to you can just kind of go through um, and look at them and see what kind of ideas they have to offer, it may um, help you to change 
um, the way that this looks. There's one that says clouds. Let's see what happens if we do clouds. All right, so not really crazy about that, but it'll give me a good opportunity to show you um, the layers feature. So now if I take my eraser, and I'm still in that brush eraser, you can see that I can start to reveal her. She's still there. I'm not erasing her. She's sort of underneath. So this is one of the great things about layers. See if I can kind of reveal her and bring her up. All right. So anyway, um, that's pretty much how this tool works. I'm not going to show you every tool. That's part of the fun is just kind of exploring and trying out some new things. Um, so today's activity, go ahead and change the girl with the pearl and make her into someone different and have a different artist intent. Um, oh, this is another cool tool. So let me just go to back to this layer again um, just to show you another thing. You can lasso parts of an image. So let's say I want to do take her eye and I want to um, move it. I could take her eye and move it somewhere else in the picture, for example. So if I do that, then I'm sort of restructuring this whole picture, moving things around. Um, maybe I want to go grab her lips. And I could take my time and do this really neat and organized if I wanted to. Okay, let's put her lips down here on her shoulder. That's a little weird. Okay. All right, so anyway, you kind of get the idea. Once you have developed a picture and you're happy with the way that it looks, your next step is to save it. All right, so I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to Save to my computer. And here you can see you've got one, two, three different images. Sumo, if you save it in Sumo, you'll be able to open it up again in Sumo, and you'll be able to edit it. But we need to save this to Padlet. So I'm going to click on um, JPEG. You could use Ping, but JPEG is very standard format that works for lots of different um, applications, like putting it in a, into a Microsoft Word document, or you can put that into PowerPoint. So JPEG is a very nice, um, friendly, universal um, uh, type of document to save as. All right, so there we go. I'm going to save it. And here's my new Vermeer girl with a pearl. And I'm just going to call this one a cutout. All right. Um, and then I'm just going to hit save. And there it goes. All right. So now the very next thing that you need to do is then you're going to go back to the Padlet. The Padlet link um, is in your messages. Here you can see it at the top of the screen. And you're really quick to use Padlet. Super easy, cool tool. Double click anywhere on the empty screen, not on these, because that will open this up. Um, and do something different. So um, we want to double click on the screen and this will start um, a new uh, note for you. So you just start typing, typing your name. Okay, and you could, then you're going to read your prompt up here. Um, it's asking you um, to explain how you redesigned the artwork and created a new mood theme or idea for this painting and you should discuss your art elements and design principles. All right, so here, I'm gonna go here to upload my picture. And here I can find it. Here's my new one right here, from your girl. Opened, and there we have it. So now we've got another addition to the screen, um, to the first two that I submitted. All right, so have fun with this. Um, if you have questions, go ahead and message me.